hello welcome to last part of my blender tutorial this time we're going to create smoke simulation then render all the frames and composite with our footage let's start by creating circle place it inside our portal open edit mode extrude to give it some thickness now place it above the ground and change name to smoke open particle properties create new particle system change frame start to first frame end frame to second frame lifetime to three frames in render settings and in viewport uncheck show emitter now hit f3 to search quick smoke set first frame Open Physic Properties panel, change Flow Source to Particle System, set Initial Velocity to 1. Now we can hit Playback to, to see results. Uh, with Smoke Domain selected, open Physic Properties, increase Resolution to 48. Okay, this box, it's smoke domain. Uh, your smoke simulation will be generated only inside this box. So we have to increase size of it to fill our location. And now it looks great, I think, in, in preview, in playback. So open render viewport with smoke domain selected open shader editor shift a to add new node with magic texture Connect color to color in principal volume. Add volume info. Connect density to vector. Some cool effect, but let's change colors. Add new node, converter, and color ramp. I'm going to change color range, maybe some blue and, and dark colors yeah now it looks much better I think we're ready to, to render frames so open output tab and set resolution to 100% frame rate to 25 frames per second now in output you can uh, choose PNG or or different formats but make sure you have RGBA selected to include alpha channel select your output folder I'm 
going to create new folder and file name to portal. Now you can simply select render and render animation. Uh, we're working here with volumetric light, so be aware that it's gonna take a lot of time depending on your computer setup. When all the frames are finished in the folder, open our After Effects project. I right click in Project and import multiple files. Select first frame, import, and when Windows open again, just hit Down. Now we have sequence in, in your project. Drop it in your timeline. Now we have to slightly adjust uh, colors to, to match with with original footage. Open effect tab. Color correction. And lumetri color. I'm going to change temperature and tint. Decrease saturation. I think it's slightly too bright now. So let's change value of exposure to make it darker now looks much better let's see how it looks in playback mode I think it's great. Okay, so now we, we can render video. Open Composition tab. Add to Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to use H265 codec. Select your folder. and just hit render to start our video file is ready I hope you like the final effect thanks everyone for watching and see you in next tutorial